and we're going to see if that works. Excellent connection. That's a first. Hey, we got new internet. Did you know? I heard. Yes, we did. All right. Have you ever had one of those iPhones that will turn on and then it'll stay on and everything seems great until you hit that three minute mark and then click, boot loop, it turns off and you don't know why. So today we've got the case here of an iPhone 11 with exactly that problem. And it's got a really interesting reason why that hopefully Mark here is going to fix with a little bit of trace repair. So we are going to introduce this case here for you. So this is one that came to us with the permission to record for YouTube. Yes, check mark from David. David from Utah. So David says, uh, here's his iPhone 11 that you guys can, can see right here. And I put it on a little three minute countdown thing right there. So it's not going to stay on for this entire time, which is its main problem. So here's what Dave, this is what happened to all right, are you ready? It says, the face ID sensor was cut accidentally during repair. Now, face ID is completely unrelated to this three minute reboot loop, but that's where it started. He cut the face ID sensor. So that means just whoops on the screen flex. So he put in a replacement one, but he knew that that wouldn't work for face ID. And he says that he has the old one which doesn't have a connector anymore. And he says that he could have lived with this deficiency, no face ID, but upon reassembly, the phone randomly shuts off after a few minutes every time. So some sort of board investigation will be needed. And then he tells us that he's got the old body. So he's done a housing swap. He's got the old one, which no longer has a connector. He's got the old screen, the first replacement screen, up oh, and over here you can see on the hand cam it just rebooted so it didn't get to my four minute alarm it has now rebooted so there we go so it can't stay on for three minutes so he says that he's got a first replacement screen whose ribbon was also cut in the accident that severed the face sensor ribbon he put a third screen on the device and he's gonna send everything all together so that we can make this whole thing working again. So we spent some time here at Practical Board Repair School. This is the weekend with these three guys back here still left around, right? So we've got Dakota and James and Andrew. And these guys recognize the three minute reboot problem, right? Right. Yeah, so we talked about that like back on day one. So what kinds of things, I'm going to put them on the spot now, so hopefully they better get this right. Otherwise, I'm shredding your certificate. So what kinds of things cause a phone to to have that three minute reboot loop? Like what, what might it be? Uh, the charging port. The charge port, yeah. So the charge port has this thermal sensor that's got to report to the CPU. Charge port, what else? Power button. The power button. And what's the other one? The battery. The battery. Yes, no shredding of certificates is necessary today. Yeah, so of those, I think the battery is probably the most common. And I think the most common, oh, it, it got to my uh, four minute alarm, but it didn't stay on that whole time. The uh, most common is battery connector, I think, because the battery has to fit in the connector. And if it doesn't make connection with a little bit of plastic or something, then you're gonna get that three minute reboot. What do you think is most common? Uh, yeah, I mean, battery, battery connector definitely is the easiest for an end user or technician to damage. Gotcha. So on this phone, we spent like pretty much all day doing face ID, right? What, what else did we do today? Face ID? You did a lot of face ID stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. You did some face ID. You were doing iPad charge board and you guys fixed a bunch of phones. Right. Right. Okay. But this, we have done a bunch of face ID experiments and we have moved the ever famous flood illuminator from the Torn Flex to a good working flex. So we have already fixed Face ID and this phone has working Face ID. So it's only left with this irritating rebooting problem. So we did what? How did we figure out the actual cause? Mark? <laughs> uh, we did a visual. Like, I don't think it was fun. They're like, we already had our turn. We did a visual inspection. No. Crush logs. Oh, well. Shredder. Yeah. Yes. You're yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I, I remember. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. I guess yes. we did 
We did. Yeah, yeah we did. Well, here's what we did. We, um, <laughs> we connected this phone to 3U tools to see first, can it read the battery data? So 3U tools, plug it in, and it could read the battery data. So when the phone can read the battery data, that kind of lets you know the battery's not the reason you've got the three minute reboot loop. The next thing that we did was we looked at the panic log. So we went to 3U tools and we opened the crash logs and we started reading them and I searched for the word thermal. And then we could pretty quickly find that the reason that this had a reboot loop was because it was missing information from Mike 2. So then we just searched what is Mike 2 and Mike 2 is located on the power flex. Now you can also use the iDevice analyzer software available in GitHub by Wayne Bonici and he made this little handy piece of software to help you figure out what's wrong with your three minute reboot loops. But they're always missing one sensor or another. So in this case, it's the power button. So once we knew it was the power button, then I <laughs> decided in my wisdom, the best thing to do was first, I don't know if you guys realize this, I put this phone completely back together and my plan was to just tell, uh, tell uh, poor, uh, poor Dave, you know what, you really should replace your power button. <laughs> But then I felt bad when I read that whole story, and I seemed like a lot of yeah, things we, had gone wrong. We fixed wrong. the thing you didn't care about. Yeah, exactly. we fixed the pace ID. You know, we thought that was a win. But then, uh, so then we took it all back apart because I did find that I had an iPhone 11 housing that I had ordered from Injured Gadgets, which I thought this would be great. So I started swapping things over, and then I was like, man, I got to swap over the battery and the SIM tray. And so then Dakota said. Uh, why don't you just swap over to PowerFlex because even like my baby sister can do that or my dog or something. I don't remember what it was. Who was it? My new employees. Yeah, his, his, new, his new employees could do that so he said it wasn't hard. So then we decided, we pulled out, you, so you pulled out the PowerFlex. Yes. And then did it have anything obviously wrong with it? Uh, not until it's only the microscope. Not until we looked under the microscope. All right, so we're going to leave it over here to Mark. So we're going to disconnect this phone, and Mark is going to show us what was wrong with the PowerFlex. And then he's going to fix it for us, and then this phone is not going to have a reboot loop anymore. All right, Mark. First challenge is you have to locate on this desk, and we put on the hand cam, you're going to have to figure out where right now at this moment where is that flex right good luck here you go i hope i hope you get it uh i think that everyone agrees that i'm well known for having a really neat desk highly there, there, organized there it is found it oh very good see Perfect. okay so then we need to switch this over to uh Microscope? Do I do this? No, 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 no. Mm, you got to turn the hand cam off. Turn the hand cam off, and mm -hmm. then. And then turn the front cam off. Ah, there yeah, we go. There you go. Perfect. Now we're looking at the microscope view. Okay, so. Start off looking over here at the microphone. Looks fine. We can't see. There you go. It's got the little cap it's supposed to have. Everything looks good. It's not crooked. Uh, I suggested that we look under that tape. Yes, that was a terrible idea, but we did it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so look under the I tape. I don't know. It seemed like there was a lot of flux leaking out. What do we see? We see solder joints. Surprise. Yeah. Well, they they looked okay, but they they could have been could have been that. Oh, they're good. Okay. And then. Looking along the flex and There's a booger on there, free, no additional charge. And boom, right there. Boom. That, bum, is, bum, ba -da. that is somebody using tweezers to push this down and slipping. You can see right there where they, they slipped off. Whoops, there you go, Dave. That's the and I, I what I love about this is that this is a how much does an iPhone eleven cost? Do you guys know? What would you say? Nobody knows? Yeah, you're probably five, five, okay, six, $500 six, five, phone yeah. that is completely unusable 
because the tweezers slid off the end of the connector and punched. Look how tiny this is. That is so tiny. This entire phone is not working because of this incredibly super, look at that. Look how tiny it is. Put your finger there. Compared to your <laughs> finger, it's so tiny. Just that one little baby mistake. And now the phone turns on, but it will only stay on for three minutes. So you really can't use it. All right. So Mark, how long is it going to take you to repair this? Probably about 30 minutes. Uh, so get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bullet hole. Let's see. So everybody in chat, you, you can... Now what we're going to find is that this actually isn't causing a problem at all and that this thing was just a bad aftermarket flex with a bad sensor on it. Yeah, and that's the real <laughs> lesson. Now right. we got one line severed. Wow. Well, that's let's it. look it up. See what it, that's. Let's do that, Mark. I'm gonna look it up. I'll look it up over here, though. So, which pin? Probe around and tell me what line is that. What what uh, connector okay. pin does that go to? Because inquiring minds want to know. If I was Jess's multimeter, okay, it would be on uh, the desk back there with those guys. <laughs> that's not my multimeter at all. That's a deal. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to figure out exactly what line is this whole crankiness about. Let's see. So the power button in the iPhone 11. It's the one that doesn't beep. But it is the one that doesn't beep, I, isn't I, it? Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, so how many? Uh, the third skinny pin in mm -hmm. from All right, so let's the see center of the board. All right, so where? On the outside edge. On over here? Uh, let's see, this is going to plug in. So... One, two, three. All right, so where does it plug in? It plugs in like that. So which yeah. side is that on? Uh, well, this is looking like it's saying that it's ground? that ground pin. Huh. <laughs> huh. Huh. Interesting. Weird. I don't think that's right, though. So, like, imagine in your mind, because I can't see it under the microscope, picking it up and plugging it into this connector. Yeah, I mean, that's what it would so be. So it's either PP but, codec to rear mic, or it's... No, it's not. It's on it's the side. This, it's strobe module NTC, for sure. Because NTC means temperature. It's got to be. Well, the funny thing is that it's... Uh, I don't have continuity from it to either of these other grounds. Yeah, so it's because it's not ground. Yeah. So ZXW is just a liar? No. I mean, pick it up and put it in. Like, how, how does it go in? Are you, are you it would go in. Sure? It would go in like this. Plugs in like that. All right, guys, like we need a console. Come help me figure out which pin it is. It will plug in just like that. All right, plugs in. Let's see. Flash goes up there, plugs yeah. into the board here. Power Make it, right this there. is super boring, so you got to click over your input. Oh, you can't, can't, yeah, can't uh, do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there we go. All right. Okay, there you go. All right, we're going to figure this out. Plugs into the board like that. It's the only possible way it could ever plug into the board. All right, let's see. All right, what do you think? You took this out. How does this plug into the board? So it, oh, yeah. Isn't it at the it top? Folds, it folds up. Let me see it. I know when you put it in, you fold it in like this. And it will plug. It will plug straight into the board down like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will literally plug just like this. This, this. Where's the board? Do you have the board? Yeah. So this is the board. It's going in right like that. That's the only way it could ever plug right? in. Yes. That okay. Yep. So then of the. So then where is the little? It would be on the spot? other. It's here, right? Because it's. Nope. I see it right there. So he just said that goes there, which means there. 
That which is, means exactly okay. what I said, which so is you're, NPC. You're, okay, that so is you're right. saying you're saying if I flip it, <laughs> if I flip it over like that, it should be the third one down? Huh? You're saying if I flip it over like that, it should be the third one down then, right? I'm saying one, it two, goes three, in... third one down. So flip it over, it'll be the third one down. Right? What are you talking about? The third small one, right? That's the third small thing? It's not rocket appliances. Let me use my x ray vision right now. One. I mean, I don't have a PhD. One, two, three, four. I know how to count four. three. <laughs> <laughs> That's four. Okay. Yeah, that's four. Yeah, that's four. That's four. Yeah, it's the fourth one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but on there, it's not the fourth one. Well, if I mean, it's are we the counting the one, fat it's, pins? It's, it's this one. Are no. we counting the fat pins? No. no I mean, I can't. Yeah, it's the fourth. Anything. It's the fourth one down. Right. Uh, where did you just go? gotta get rid of that. Fourth right. one down. One, two, Which three. that says is ground. One, two, three, is it, and either it is or it's a lie. Is it the fourth one? Um, Maybe it's an isolated ground that only goes finger. to the mic. So it's this one right here. Yeah. One, two, three, four. four. And then there's two left after it, right? Yeah. So over here, two left after it, that's the fourth. It's the one. other, yeah, you look at it the other way around, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's, ZXW is telling us it's ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that these are flipped. Yeah, I was to say, wouldn't it be it's one, this. two, three, four, and then the two left on the top? It probably is. If we were to check another piece of software, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to solder that on there, leave a wire, <laughs> leave a wire, plug it in, and then we're going to probe it to C4330, because that's what it is. I bet that that line is strobe module NTC. For the record, Mark was right. Mm, this is the line. Do we agree? Oh, yeah. I agree that ZXW is wrong. Yes. Okay. So we all agree that the line is strobe module NTC. Right? Yeah, I think that's very likely. Okay, so we're going to know that. All right, everybody agrees strobe module NTC is what we think is the actual reason. And that, I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense anyway. NTC stands for yeah. negative temperature coefficient. It's the only thing in this entire connector that has anything to do with, uh, with temperature, right? It's the only thing that really could be a thermal sensor. Okay, so how could you trick it if you wanted to, like... Not put a jumper there? Yeah, exactly. If you wanted to just do data recovery and not have to plug in a power button, how could you trick it? NTC. Can't you, like, remove, like, the little... Don't they always have, like, a resistor and a capacitor, like, then you could, like... Take I think off? you have to remove... Everything related to monitoring Oh, here's the resistor right there. Okay, I really want you to do this experiment. I want you to just take off R4330 and see if that solves it. Nobody needs a strobe temperature sensor. That's just dumb. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't think it'll work. Yes, it will. I think if you delete R4330, those, those things always have a capacitor and a resistor, and that's it. Well, that's easy enough to test. Yeah. Remove R... Who in chat can get an iPhone 11 and take off R4330 and see if it doesn't require... Get on there and be pretty. All right. So Mark's going to fix this jumper, and then he's going to delete R4330. What do you think, chat? Do you think it would work if we just deleted R4330? How many t texts does it take to count to four? One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Five. It takes five. My, my schooling ended a little premature, but I did pick up counting all the way to ten, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. I paused my game to be here, too. He is my spirit animal. Oh, Coco Lopez, you got an admirer. <laughs> yeah, all right. Today we learned that apparently a collection of magic cards from the 90s. Oh, uh -oh. Is, uh -oh. Um, that's big money. Yeah, so I got to go in the basement and I got to find these and then I'm just going to play it again. 
Do you play magic, Mark? No. All right, give me the thing, because I, cause I get it. What thing? This that. thing? Yeah, the mouse. Give me it. Oh, here. Take it in charge, please. All right. Please do. All right, Mark, so what'd you do? You scraped away some of the flex plastic, and uh -huh. you just put a little bit of the silver jumper wire to cross that, and are you gonna yeah. use your multimeter to go back to that third or fourth pin, whatever? No, my jumper... Is a fail? Broke off. Sure did. Bastard. Now, have you thought about the question on people's minds is, why don't you just bob over that with solder? I did. The gap's a little bigger than I want mm. for doing that. Mm -hmm. You would not believe how much magic and Pokemon cards are worth. What? All right, let's see. Who in chat has an iPhone 11 that they can remove R4330 to find out whether or not it cures this whole temperature sensor thing? Because I bet that it will. All right, Mark is doing the fluxless soldering of, uh, please sh shield your eyes, avert your eyes, avert your eyes, no, this is, there we go. This, this is bad. That's how you should always do it, right? Oh. oh, it's perfect. There, don't touch it. <laughs> it's fine. It's great. Perfect. Now I got to poke at it, see if you know, it's on there. Okay. Okay, shoo. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. All right. Here. Let's watch what Mark looks like. From this view, oh, you can't really see very much. This is Mark working hard underneath that microscope, and every now and then you can see his hands. Here comes his multimeter. There we go. And he has deemed that it is perfectly fine. All right. It's good. Okay. So now, what are you going to do? Uh, now I'm going to. Just put a little piece of tape across it instead of the green stuff. Okay. Because the green stuff doesn't like to flex. All right, let's see that. Yeah, the green stuff has gotten us in trouble before on things like this, where it just kind of makes it hard, and then when you plug it in, it'll break your jumper. Yeah, so there. There we go. Done. Perfect. All right. Now, I really wanted to see you, like, just kind of poke it and, like, make another hole this time, just <laughs> by accident. Okay, so now it's right there. Put it, just plug that in and okay. set the timer for four minutes, and then we'll watch it to see if it can get all the way to the end of that without rebooting. Another thing we could do is look to see in the, like, real-time log on 3U tools. You won't see any. Any problem? Oh yeah. <laughs> your, your power button is. Uh, yeah, that's right. Is, uh, I forgot about I mean, that. You can still use it. You just gotta click the little clicky thing to keep inside. We'll do it like this. Okay. All right. So we will take a look, and it's booting up, and we'll go to the lovely hand cam. All right, there it is. So when that boots up, you are going to. You're gonna. Set it on a four minute countdown. The password is 87087, in case you forgot. <laughs> you got it. It's right there. It's 87087. Oh. It's like this, this guy probably doesn't want us putting this passcode but in. But I, I don't get that. And every and it's like no matter what you do, you're going to get comments. So if, you, if you're like, yeah, I don't really think you should uh, talk about that guy's password. Why not? Because you, you're going to, you're going to, find this phone in the mail and just make sure you let him know and when you update his ticket your password has been compromised <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly put, a, put one of those little notes on there that says your uh you better change your passwords you know? which i'm pretty sure that that phone already had you know by the way your passwords are compromised <laughs> so so what do you um, want to do for the next two and a half minutes? We're going to talk about a PSA, right? You guys, what PSA comes to mind? Something every every guy should watch out for as they get older. For gout. Gout. I agree. <laughs> two votes for gout. So Mark's been complaining of a little bit of uh, finger and toe. It's probably just arthritis. <laughs> which is caused commonly by a buildup of uric acid from, from gout. 
So I just pee more. Okay, and um, you gotta you gotta stop drinking beer, unfortunately. And it's uh, gotta cut back on the meat. You, gotta, you get you get too many purines. Also, have you been testing your blood sugar? No. Are you sure you don't get the the sugar? <laughs> the beatus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, you know, let's go. After we're done here, we're going to go do a little blood sugar testing. Right? Make sure you stay under 100 on waking. Do you got the stabby one? Yes, of course. Um, no, I'm good. What? <laughs> now, listen, that's like my superpower now. So I have, I can impress Betsy and Maisie by, by like raw dogging the, the lancets. I don't put them in the little thing anymore. That's that's for beginners. I take it, and this is hard to do. You gotta like, you gotta, you gotta like steal yourself to take the little lancet and just shove it in your finger yourself, just like poke it, and then and then just squeeze a little drop of blood. Yeah, I think everybody just and it's super fun because you can <laughs> it, stab your finger. It's, just, it's, it's, it's very interesting. You will find that something like. You know, rice will make your make your blood glucose do way different than if you even have like potatoes or pasta. It's very fun, and I highly recommend it for everyone to to study their blood sugar. All right, let's see what happened. Is it, is it alive? Is it, is it working? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we got another problem. All right, let's plug it in and see if it says mic two. All right, how can we get on here? Will it let us see? It's gonna, it's gonna be that it was a terrible flex to begin with that just has a bad sensor, and then also somebody poked a hole in it. Mm, I don't know. That seems very unlikely. Uh, Why don't you try to really plug the flex in, like use a pair of tweezers to like push it in there. Yeah, <laughs> make sure it's in real good. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, just be really careful, really, really steady. All right, so what happened? Plug it in. We got to find in. a way to look, look at the logs now. Yeah. All right, so where can we do... I'm trying to make it so that we have a... We can do it through the settings on the browser. phone. Browser. Yeah, okay, settings on the phone. Uh, where was it at? It's in privacy. Privacy, and then analytics. Sure Dave really wants analytics privacy. data. It's a little hard for us to see if your, your white balance is... That's your white balance. It's your mom's white balance. <laughs> uh, I would recommend picking the one like, that's at the top. No, it's, it doesn't sort them by date. Okay. It sorts them by name. Well, that's majorly hard to see. Can we? Uh, is that, is yeah, that mic remotely two. possible to read? Yeah, I can't zoom in, but I'm it is a zoom. mic two. Is it? It's mic two. No. All right. I'm sorry that you guys were taught by Mark, obviously, he's uh, got some work to do. All right, we, we can see that a little bit. Show us, show us a little bit more. Where'd you, so you went to where? Show us how to do this on the phone. Okay. So you go so to we're settings. really zoomed in right now. Settings, then you go down to privacy, you go down all the way to the bottom, you analytics and improvement. Yes, yeah, so that, oh. that doesn't count. <laughs> Shut up. Fail. Okay, so under privacy, under privacy, you go all the way down to analytics and Is improvement. that Andrew Lopez in the back? And yeah. then oh, you hit <laughs> analytics <laughs> data, <laughs> and then you can scroll down to your pants. <laughs> Did you know that Andrew was a celebrity? Oh man. Is he? Yes. I'm known. Like local Jacksonville celebrity or like No man. He's got like all he's across the like, world. He's got like some fan did you know that he's like a pro car no. guy? Oh no, no shot. <laughs> no, no shot. <laughs> I didn't know that that was a thing you could be. Yeah. Alright, so click on one of them. Uh yeah, this this one. Is that the latest one? Um, I think so, except that the... Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Do we want Have to... you tried just spanking it? Just Make turn sure. it over your knee. 
Do I have that? Wait, we can't see. Here? Wait, we can't see. Hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta. I don't know. It seems like that might not be plugged all the way down there. We can't see. You get... Well, you're in control of the. All right, here you go. Okay, show. <laughs> okay. Uh. I dare you to use a tweezer on that right now to plug that in. All right, we gotta we gotta make sure it's plugged in good. All right, here we go. This is how to use your professional tweezer. No, get us in focus. The very crucial operation. And I see that you've chosen the black sixty dollar PGA tweezers as your tool of choice for. Oh, we can't see. No, oh, no, oh, no. You're cheating. Move it down. Okay. Very gently. Very gently. That's already plugged in. That's not it. That's not helping you. What about the top side? Oh, look at that, the iPad. Do you think you have a crack on like a full puncture and that there's a trace right there that you need to go on a hunt for? Do you you it think maybe side. there could be traces on this side? Maybe. I don't yeah. know. Let's see. Yeah. I think you better investigate. I think... Quick 20 minute adventure, in and out. Yep, that's what we said. We're, we're almost done. We're just about. We're just getting started. Come on, Mark. Let's yeah. make a quick video. 20 uh, minutes. Also, done. Jesus says, um, I stayed quiet, but I saw another broken line on the flex. <gasps> no. And then he says, but it looked intentional. Uh. uh. uh how about diode mode down your down your connector? See what's see what's. You know what? There is right. there is a second layer because now that I got it under the light the right way, I can see all the there's only traces running to this side. So yeah, there's something something for that other side that's gonna be broken. Yeah, back to the knife, back under the knife. All right, so now that means you guys are gonna have to come up with some commentary because. You just can't just be quiet. No. Uh, All right, let's talk nope. to James. We we're, gonna interview, we're gonna interview James. James grew up in Las Vegas, which I think would be pretty cool. All right, James, what's the good hotel in Las Vegas? If you're going to a conference, what's the pro tips? <coughs> the Bellagio. Uh, well, I mean, there's a bunch. The, you got the Wynn, the Bellagio, uh, the Venetian is a good hotel. Those are like expensive ones. <laughs> <laughs> What's the insider one? Which one do you, would you put your mom up for Christmas? Oh, she already lives there. How about your uh, your friend from out of town that's coming in for a visit? I think the MGM is a good choice too. Uh, it's it's nice. It's big. It's got plenty of restaurants. I mean, it's not too expensive. All right. Which one would you take your wife to? Yeah, definitely the win. Which one would you take your girlfriend to? <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? back to you. <laughs> All right. All right. So I've I've picked away that ground that was pushed through. Yeah. Uh, no, you just think in you case were, you were grounding your line. I know, maybe. So on the other side, directly opposite the puncture is ground. So there's nothing to fix there. Is that right? right. Yeah. And it looks like the traces are out here on the side. Yeah. That come around. Yep. Okay. Well, have you tried plugging it in? What? You lost your little piece of tape. Aren't you afraid you're going to ground it out on something? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh-oh, that's the wrong camera. I really should set up and use the, the stream deck, which is going to be totally right yeah. there. You've had for like I mean, how I many years look, I now? I set it up. I even put little custom icons on it. But the problem with it is that you have to like if you change the microphones like they, like we just did, then they're gonna get. You have to do it for every scene. So let's see. All right. Well, you just get things set up right, and then. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Okay. If, oh, we got an exciting moment of truth coming up. Well, all we can see is the purple screw tray. So you, we're zoomed in too much. Yeah. We're going to mm -hmm. widen it up. Whee! All right, there we go. We're going to move this over here. And 
and we'll just wrap this 10 minute stream right on up. <laughs> oh, at least it's still coming on. That's good news. This is the like next phase of the stream is Jessa changing the power flex in the house. Oh. <laughs> I will not it. That's okay. it off. It's, it's 87087. I know what it is. In case you forgot. It's eight. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Put, uh, come on. Alarm. There we go. Four. Start. There we go. And now, time to tell some jokes. So we've already done our PSA on on gout, and uh, so what else is there to talk about? What's new with you? Uh, did you tell? Uh, did you tell oh, Andrew look at me. Don't look over here. <laughs> <laughs> that people from Florida are naturally good at board repair? Oh yeah, fill me in on that. Yeah, it's true. I don't know if I told him that. I feel like it's implied. Yeah. No, like everybody that comes here from Florida, at some point Mark's like, oh, look, you're from Florida, so you're going to be naturally good at board repair. That's how it is. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. This is a messed up microphone. All right, here we go. What is PSA? Public service announcement. If you're a guy and you're feeling like you have a little bit of arthritis in your hands and feet, you need to lay off the alcohol and you need to lay off the meat because you got gout. Watch out for gout. No. Hmm? No. No. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going to text Cecilia and no alcohol for you. All right. So. What can we talk about about the great state of Arkansas? <laughs> have you ever been to Arkansas? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I haven't even flown over it. <laughs> well, I've flown over it before, but I don't think I've ever been. No, so well, where, where, should, where should we plan our vacation to Arkansas? Like, what are the highlights? There are hot springs. Well, that sounds fun. Hot springs. Tell me more about that. Yeah, what temperature is the Yeah, like, what kind of, like a hot tub, but it's a natural thing? This is a natural spring. Is it seriously actually like hot? No. Wait, no! Okay. Is it a lukewarm we, we have lots of springs in Florida, but they're 72 degrees. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that what yours? We're about that, yeah. And you have uh, Diamond Mines. Do you just call them hot springs then because they're also 72 when it's winter and like I snowing? I didn't mean the city, the city. So, I don't know. No, I'm holding you personally responsible <laughs> for... It, like, I went to the lukewarm springs of Arkansas. No, no, that's cold. Oh, yeah, 72 cold, is yeah. cold. Is it? No, oh, it's yeah. not. It, it, yes. is. it is. What? We it's have them in Florida. You don't go there until August. To like, cool have off? You been, have you ever been to, like, it's a top near January? Yeah, I've been all, like, basically Yeah, all, yeah, you don't, you don't go there in April. cream connoisseur. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got kids, so we go. Okay. Yeah, it's good stuff. You spend the day floating down the river. Listen, my kids live in New York State, and they will go swimming in the lake the moment that thing is not hard ice that you can, as soon as you can fall so like through. Like right now, they would go. Yeah, right now, absolutely. That's yes. insane. In fact, I believe that they've already been in like. <laughs> Why do I see an Apple logo on that phone? Hmm. If we go over here to hand cam. All right, now we got to go to the logs. Yeah, we got to actually see what's pop, really pop what. over to the the three U. Make sure we're looking at the. Yeah, well, do that. I'm not sure that we can put that like on. We can't. I didn't make it be a window, but well, we can try. Maybe we can. It's already open. Let's try to add it. Open window window and. Reuse tools is not an option. Alright. Yeah, mic two. So, according to that, mic two. Okay. Yeah, so the flex All right. is always bad. And mm. then it got punctured. Mmm. 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 This is so let's, depressing. Like, sorry, if you had rebooted, man, that would be so awesome. Let's move the microphone from another flex onto this one. It's not the microphone. It's an What else can it be? Take off R4330. Let's do that, and then we'll just put the good flex on and be done. Come on. This is going right, to be fine. great. 
we're going to take off. I think you should take off R4330, and I think you should take off the capacitor that goes with it. R4330 and C4330. So just take both of those off. I'll do it, but it's not going to work. Oh, it's going to work. It's going to work, and it's going to be great. And then if it doesn't work, we're going to just stick that... We're going to just leave and Dakota will just finish this up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's, what's happening now? Now we're yanking off a resistor. Okay, hold on. Okay. So here's the premise. According to my calculations... Wait, where is our 4330? Oh, it's right there Down in the there. corner. Yeah, it's on the end. Uh, all of these NTC things that are in every phone, they all have like a thermistor setup, which I think R4330, which you're gonna have to put back so we don't be careful. Would you like some 200 degrees heat? Would you like some hair dryer heat? Like we've been making people do all week. So that you can, you know. Here you go. Oh, would you like me to eat? Yeah. Okay. Use a little hair dryer heat and just knock it right off. Do you like Mark's board holder? It's called his pinky. That's how, that's how you know you just thought you gotta be quick. Right. You gotta get done before your hand just absolutely boils. Alright, there it is. Okay. You want some mini hot tweezers? You have to put it back on. You're gonna have to put it back on. Don't flick it. Don't blow it away. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Okay. And then the other guy, your cap, is at the top of the connector. Oh, it's not the one next to it? No. It's it's right here. Look. It's that guy. Oh. This yeah, right there. That guy. So just lift them up, stand them on the ends, and it's going to be great. So the theory here is that these thermistor circuits seem to just have a resistor in... Well, oh, my hot air is going to be embarrassing. So I'm telling you. It's fine. I'm going to get me some WD-40 for my, my JVs. What is going on with this? You got a bird in there. Yeah. 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 Uh, you got a bird in the hot air. Yeah, it's got some starlings in here. <laughs> here. Alright, this is going to work great. Let's see. This is not going to work. This is going to work. Mm -hmm. It's going to work perfectly great. It's going to prevent this from, like, saying bad things to the to the CPU. Oh, it's so tight. That's what she said. <laughs> I... Did what? she... Just take it off. Oh, you can't get in. Okay. Uh, crazy how your JVC still sounds like a turbine engine. Uh, turbine engine with a bird's nest in it. Yeah. <laughs> a turbine engine on a plane that you should raise your hand and say, I'd like to get off. We're almost there. It's, good. it's happening. There we go. Just slide over. There we go. Are you sure? Yeah. There it is. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay, it's fine. That's great. All right. Now it's going to work. No, it's not. It's going to work. It is going to be permanently unable to tell the CPU that it's fine. Nope. What do you think is going to happen? Mic 2 failure? Yep. 100%. Uh, I have faith, Mark. But I have faith in things that warrant faith. Like what? Like the sun will like come up gout? tomorrow most days. Mm -hmm. We're just going to wrap up this little quick 10 minute <laughs> poke the whole stream <laughs> any second. Alright. What are we going to learn here? It would be cool if we could show uh the signature tombstone soldering, yes. 
Uh, Rodrigo would like you to know that you've burned up the sponges now. <gasps> no! Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out, Rodrigo. I will address it. Right after Personally. the stream ends. <laughs> as soon as the stream's over. <laughs> and, and I will promise you, Dave, that if you open up this phone, which I don't recommend given your track record, you will see perfect sponges. Yeah, I'm just gonna go, go back to the sponge bucket. Get get some fresh ones. Yep, as we do every time. Okay, so now, does it still turn on? Let's find out. Okay, I see an Apple logo. Things are looking up. Now, for those of you who don't know the password, it's zero, <laughs> it's 87087. All right, here, here we go. It would have been a lot more fun and complete if this stream had the whole face ID repair. Uh, you're going to need to give it more of the time than that. Okay, now, can we look in like a live real-time log while this is counting down? Because otherwise it's too boring because we don't have any... On a computer, yes, yeah. but not on the phone. I know, well, mm -hmm. function. Mm -hmm. okay. Isn't it plugged in? Do it. Is it? It's ready. Okay, plug it into the computer. Step one. Oh, oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I thought this is plugged into the computer. Okay. okay, progress. All right. All right. Now, uh, get out of iTunes, so we don't need that. Now, we're going to go over here to 3U Tools, and I really would like for it to show, but I don't think I can do Real -time it. Real-time log. I don't see real -time. Where is it? To the right. Oh, there it is. Okay. Timer tick. Oh, I just thought there were monitor stuff go you by. You did? I did. All right, then let's e export and let's call it call it something. ABC. Hurry up for crashes. All right, save. All right. Now we gotta go find it. Close. Uh, it's still going. Will it make it? I think it's got a long way to go. All right. The chat shows, which proves that it's live. Oh, it's live because if it were edited, it would be good. It, would, it, would, it would like it would have been it, less than that. Shit minutes. would have been edited out. I'll tell you that right now. Because the part where yeah, no, it's not that screw hole, huh? Or that was just completely wrong. Or do you see it? That's way too far away. I can't see. I where do you fits? even save stuff to? No, it's not that. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. oh why am I even? Of course, you save everything to the desktop. Why would I? <laughs> why wouldn't you? What's wrong why with that? And look how easy it was to find. <laughs> Destroying database. Well, all right. We gotta. Let's see if we can add this to OBS. All right. Let's see if we can just add. Can't we add a yeah, window, window of notepad? And then, right. uh... Yes! Okay, we here we go. All right, here's our log. Yay! All right, now find it. Where is it? There it is. All right, do you see it? No, now you're in WordPad. Wait, that's From the, that's the old one. Oh, no! I hear a reboot! Oh, no, 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 no! I told you it wouldn't work. No! And now Dakota's going to have to put that resistor back on. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's fine. <laughs> right, how do I get rid of this? Is that this? Okay. <sighs> Satisfying <sighs> conclusion. All right. Boo. All right, go look and see if it was still mic too. Maybe it's got two problems. It was... <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's... What? Did it just sleep? All right. Fine. All right. So my plan of saying you cannot tell the CPU anything failed. I was hoping that it was like, you know, able to kind of have a mismatch or something like that. And that if you just said silence on the NTC line, so that, works. that it would be, it'd be okay. Mm -hmm. No? Afraid not. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, stick that back on there real quick. And then put the brand new power button on there so that we can at least prove 
to the skeptical people that don't even think this is actually live <laughs> that, that this whole problem is the power flex. And then, uh, then we'll all go home after, well, we're, we'll awesome. leave. Dakota is going to just put all this shit back together. Yeah. Right? Sounds like a plan. Great. Yeah, you got some work to do. Like, got a little bit of work to do. A little bit of screws and glues. All right. Okay. Pull it to ground. If the flex was broken, why would removing the resistor work? Because yeah. it, it would. Wouldn't, which is what they <laughs> said. <laughs> uh, because in the old iPhone sixes, you you used to be able to shut up temperature by deleting all temperature. Yes, if you get rid of all, all of them. I know, but I just wanted it to just work. I knew because that's I wanted it to be were, only one. I knew that's where that was coming I just from. Really wanted it to work. <laughs> nope. Because it because then it would be so easy to not have to worry about this problem. <sighs> I also just resent the fact that the phone has a temperature sensor on the power button. Oh, this regardless, is, this is not happening. Oh, it's happening. It's like it's impossible. You can't well, get these get in there. Get out some one thirty-eight. Yep, that's what we're doing. Where's Who's got me some 138 already on a net? Yeah, who wants to pass up some 138? Throw what? It over? You guys cleaned your desk? <laughs> that's you. That see? That's where you went wrong. That's like a. I got the paints on the desk over there. Oh my gosh! Yeah, paints on the desk. That's what we need. We need a source of 138. Let's see. Gold. Although I'm pretty sure that some of those are. We are now. We are now. Oh man, you are you're down to the end of this. Jesus really wants you to pull it to ground. Let's do that. Come on. <laughs> Please. Jesus wants Jesus was already making fun of you because you didn't you didn't look at the other side of the flex. So he already thinks that you're just a, a noob. Can we pull it to ground? It would be easier. I'm taking no crap from a dude named Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't you think that we should, like, you know, let it pull it to ground? Why not? It's easier than that. It's a good idea. Come on. What you mean? Replace this pull-down resistor with a wire? Yeah. No, that's a terrible idea. It will not work. I'll tell you what. I will do that. Yes. Just but to make, just so you can say, Ha, Jesus, suck it. Suck it, Jesus. That's what you mean. <laughs> suck it, Jesus. Is that, I mean, come on. It's a, it's a good idea. All right, let's get rid of this, and let's get rid of this. All right. Are you making a wire to ground, or what? Um, I could. Yeah, it's easy. Just do it. We're, we're so far in. It's, oh, we've already passed the point where nobody's going to watch us. Just bridge across the resistor. Little tiny wire to ground. Just bridge right across that resistor. Is that resistor still even there? Uh, that resistor is up here. Oh, okay. We put right. him up on the upper Put him deck. up on blocks. All right. Now he's back down there in, in the... Very safe place. All right, we'll stick a quick little wire there just so that we can see what happens if you make the strobe temperature zero all the time. It cannot say nothing. It can only say um, zero. I mean, we don't even know that, like, that, that it is a, like, one zero or linear voltage thing. It could be... It could be like uh it's not cuz it's going to be simple. No. Yeah. All right, why don't you guys look up how NTC circuits work and see if you can figure out a good way to circumvent them. It's a, a good idea. All right. Uh hey, Seuss is watching this on an iPhone 7. Resolution. 
up, he says, put the resistor, you might burn stuff. And then he says, oh my God, with a giant exclamation point. And he's not, he wants me to, not happy. He wants us to pull the line down, right? Yeah, but he wants you to pull the line down on the other side of the resistor. He doesn't want you to pull the line down, like... I mean, does he realize this is a pull-down resistor? There's only one side of it that's touching this line at all. I think it's fine. Keep going. <laughs> Science purposes. That's right. This is an right. investigation. We've right? just created a short... If they oh, kill oh, it yeah, by shorting up. before the resistor, Jessa won't read chat. There, there is no before the resistor. It's, the line doesn't go through the resistor, Jesus. It's a pull-down resistor on the line. One side of the resistor is on ground. One side is on the line. Now there's no more resistor, and there's just a line pulling that line down. There's a wire Let's see what happens. Down. Let's see what happens. Who is going to go down to the store and get me some beer? <laughs> we're gonna wrap this up. This is this is an experiment, and when this fails, we're gonna put the good button on, and then we're done. And it's gonna be nice and quick. We're it's gonna take ninety seconds max, right? You, you know, we're gonna be out right on time, right at six o'clock. Done, just like every day. What time does the liquor store close around here? Just kidding. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You got, you got to have, um, what can Mark drink for his gout problem that's not beer or liquor or wine? Kava. Is, 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 what? What? Listen, let's is, observe, let's observe daylight saving time. Like if we just don't, if we just say that we don't do daylight saving time, is it 6 o'clock, is that right? Is that yeah. Call back. <laughs> Boom, six, nine, ten minutes after Come on, Mark. Let's just do a 20 minute video. Do it real quick. <laughs> 30 I don't know, Jess. It always turns into a big whole thing. No, it doesn't. This is, so, this is such a great little concept. About three, everybody hates the three minute reboot loops. And the power button, like, not. That's like one that like half the people don't even know about. I can guarantee you're doing you're doing good here. Quality right. content. Quality content. There is going to be somebody here who goes, oh wow, I had no idea that the power button was part of the three minute reboot loop. So what we're going to do is demonstrate for you every single way that you cannot fix this. Yes, <laughs> exactly. We're gonna we're gonna increase the sales. All right, the passcode is eight seven. I've forgotten the passcode. Zero. There you go. All right, here we go. Here it's happening. That always makes me sad when it remembers where it was, where it left off. <laughs> and, and you're just like, oh, if only you had not rebooted, we would be, Mark would be at the liquor store. You know what? This phone is keeping, keeping your gout at bay, so it's good. All right. Oh, Jesus says, pulling it to ground might work. It just depends on the Apple, <laughs> Apple software. I like this experiment. <laughs> if by might, you mean drunk. absolutely will not at all. Yeah. No <laughs> chance. Will maximum temperature reading cause it to immediately turn off? I don't know. Oh, here it goes. If it's an NTC and you pull it to ground, the system will read max temperature. Well... Uh, then, then it should be I saying, think it, the you're, on too you're on fire! You're on fire! Your flash has got a flame shooting out of it right now! Oh my well, fucking god! Yeah, no, theory, theory proven wrong because Sorry, we yeah. know that it will say it's too hot if it thinks it's too hot. Well, let's go to the real-time log so that we can, we can put this to bed. All right, here we go. Back to the real-time log. It's going to reboot before you... Even All right, I want you to do Control-F, Mic 2, and just see if it's in there. Control-F. What? I, I thought it said water. Notice Dick Private. <laughs> <laughs> what does that look like? Is that said? They don't know what that. I don't notice think, uh, Dicked Private. 
I don't think it lets you... Uh, no, until after it crashes? I don't think it lets you control F in this window. Okay. But okay. clearly it's telling us, well, I'm missing a sensor. No, it's private. I don't know what it's saying. <laughs> it's, it's probably fine. All right, well, let's hit export and call this something else that we can find it that doesn't start with an A. Dick. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Succeed. Export log. Excellent. So that everyone can... can oh... All right, we're just gonna sit here and watch it read. <laughs> Come on, do 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 do. <laughs> this problem starts on iPhone 11 or before. The Power Flex was not required before the iPhone 11. So iPhone 11 and up. All right. Well, that's the point. Says Jesus, who always knew all along that it was gonna work just great. <laughs> it depends on Apple's software if it knows max temperature and ignores it. Yeah, exactly. The reboot is, is going to be, if you hear nothing, unacceptable. If it's on fire, it's perfectly fine. Oh, oh no! Shocking. Burr, burr. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have predicted? Uh, not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're kidding. So it doesn't like to... Wrong again, Does Jesus. <laughs> Wrong again. <laughs> oh, Jesus, you told me lies. <laughs> All right. Nothing but love for you, Asics. Okay, now, okay, given that, I think it might be time to recognize the fact that the liquor store does close <laughs> kind of soon and wrap it up. So make all that go back to normal and stick the good power flex on, because I do think that we are obligated to show that this phone is indeed able to stay on for four minutes. We are, uh, well, one of us is obligated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right. Uh, this is missing a mic, not a temperature sensor. No, I think it says mic too, and it means temperature sensor. Well, but the it, only thing it, it is a microphone, which I... You think that the temperature sensor is inside that microphone? That's the only thing that makes sense to me, because that I is betcha. absolutely we're, we're a gonna microphone. Do, we're going to do another experiment. Oh, we're going <laughs> to... No, <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Let's right. do it. Let's do it during we'll the... We'll do it later. We'll do it during the May class. Okay, but here's the experiment I want to do. Take the perfectly working power flex, delete the microphone, and it's still going to be perfectly fine. Oh no, that mm -mm, no, that'll never happen. It's gonna it's gonna get mad at you. It's gonna say mic two is gone. I don't know. All right. All right. What's going on now? Are you uh, let's let's watch Mark set this right. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. There we go. All right. Deleting jumper. All right. Let's see. And now this is how you really fix a problem with your mic to temperature sensor. We should make the title of this video be mic two is the power button. Right? Is, did you guys already know about iDevice Analyzer? <coughs> Ever done that? No? Uh, no. Okay. Alrighty. Did you, would you already know to look at logs in 3 tools? No, not at all. Would you have looked at logs in 3 tools? Yeah. Would you have seen that it said mic 2 and then like, then how would you get the power flex from there? Probably just Google what mic 2 was. And I would like to point out that the place on the internet top ranked that actually tells you information is iFixit, where it says. Yeah, thank God. I fix it and support communities and go. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Okay, here comes Mark expertly getting that resistor back on there without bothering the split board, because that'd make for a long string. <laughs> Did you guys all successfully reball your split boards together? Yes. yes. Yes, everybody? All right, well done. No certificate shredding this week. I did forget to say that we have uh, figured out what the password is for the iPad Rehab Discord. And we will put a link to the iPad Rehab Discord in the description, so come on by. For you, too. I will personally ignore your questions. Huh? 
Yes, you. <laughs> you too can talk to Drunk Mark at all hours. Oh, yeah. Beginning, from, beginning at 1 a.m. Eastern until about 4 a.m. You can talk to Mark about all sorts of things, gout or otherwise. <laughs> Don't forget your fun little cap up on top. I had already forgotten. Okay, well, he needs to go back because he's part of that little circuit. Mm. Don't forget to smash that like button, chat. Yeah, smash that like button. Maybe it's sensing the heat in your finger to know you're not dead. Mm. Mm. How many of you guys in chat knew that the power, the power button is required for the oh, iPhone 11 and up to stay on for more than three minutes? Listen. Hot air advice. sounds like a leaf filler. My hot air sounds like like we need to have a funeral for it. This hot air has worked flawlessly for ten mm -hmm. years ten until more about degrees. until about this week. Sure, I'll give you ten more degrees. I'll put it at four fifty. I feel like my hot air station oh, is really just a good That's the stuff right there. Yeah, they're even three hundred. There you go. It's on there. All right. Did you lay the cap down? I the cap does not have. Yes, it is. It's like lower it's temperature a oh. And also, it's not special. But I will lay it back down. But it's not special. Are you sure? Let's look it up. I can. I'm looking at the end of it connected to ground. Are you sure? Yep. Mm, all right. But I don't want to deprive David of his capacitor for no reason. Just because we it's been like ten for ten. Of around. being right about things <laughs> on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Get back on there. Now, where's the good flex? In the red bag. You have to find it on your own. Did you find it? Right. It's gonna work. Is it supposed to have a tear in it? No. <laughs> It's like that when I found it. <laughs> ah, the, the, the kids went to sleep, finally. <laughs> oh man, my JVC is still going strong, still haven't replaced the heating element. Your JVC doesn't sound like it needs to go to the hospital. Yeah, it does. Does JVC have a hospital? That's the thing. That is what I'm going to look up after this course week is it may be time to call the doctor for the JVC. And they're going to be like, nope, we got your money. They're going to be like, sure, new one, ship buy it new right one. back to Barcelona where they're made. I would buy a new one, though, because I, I have had no complaints for a decade. Nearly a decade. All right. So let's see if I can make Gonna this. have to plug this in with the tweezers. Oh yes, let's look at that. <laughs> it's happening again. Here we go. All right, that looks like it's got a dimple in it. Oh my God! Did you do that? <laughs> I did not do that. It came like that. It's just. <laughs> oh my God! I didn't do that. It. Um, <laughs> What <laughs> is going on here? All right, she's in there. Oh my god. This better work because I do not have time. We do not even have. Oh my god. We do not even have. That's the last one in this whole shop. Who's yes, that's right. That is. There is not another one. Don't even bother trying to look for it. His personal phone is an iPhone 11. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh man. All right. Now it doesn't even turn on. What, are you pushing the external power <laughs> <Yes>. buttons? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Finger slipped a little, and it's okay. It's still mostly attached. Okay. All right. Let's stick it on there, and the password is eight seven. I 
think anybody's going to believe that, that the face ID repair worked. I know. It was very sad because it was very elegant. Uh, th that power button is original? Uh, it depends on who you ask. What does it say on the package? <laughs> <laughs> It was originally in a package this morning, I know that. Uh, if it works, we'll show you the supplier. It was made in China. Okay. Third party replacement part fully tested warranty included. All right, now let's go to 3U tools, real time log. Oh, it's not connected. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we should just let it be a mystery. Let's just see the excitement of whether or not it can get past. What does it do? What is the most it's gotten to? A minute left? A minute and 20, 30. All right. You're like 16. I won't believe this until I see it for my own eyes, a power button really <laughs> stopping a phone from operating. Well, I don't know how more clear we can possibly be. Oh my God, Hughes Tech Service. This, this is, you know, that. What, what could we possibly do for to prove to you that this phone, which is rebooted about a hundred times, when there's nothing wrong with it except for the power button had bad power button. Please answer that. Let's see. Let's see. So the title is optimistic that this is going to work. No, it's going to work. It is going to work. It is definitely going to work. That, see, that mark is wild. Like, legit people do not realize that the power flex is required for iPhone 11. Are you sure he's not just trolling? Are you just trolling? All right, let's see. All right. <laughs> it's going to work. It's going to click all the way down. Uh, I and it's going to be past a minute, 15 seconds. It's, it's going to work. No, it's going to be. It's going to stay. It's, it's going to be the, the new flex. It's also <laughs> faulty. No, it's not. It's going to work. Nobody's great. ever going to believe that Mike Two is on the, the power button flex. Then you know what? How about this? If your iPhone 11 is rebooting every three minutes. Send it to iPad Rehab. Go to iPadRehab.com and click Get Started. Don't even try to change the PowerFlex. It's obviously not that. Yeah, PowerFlex is definitely not required, so it's, you can change anything you want, but not that. And then send it on to iPad Rehab. And we'll wave a magic wand, and it'll go back working. Look at this uh, chat. Horror. Look at that. I believe you wouldn't expect anything else from Apple. Well, no, it's not. I'm starting to hear the countdown music. Yeah, see? All right, we should have programmed see, that thing right. right now. We could have been like, 10, nine. Now what we need to do is move the microphone from this flex to the other flex. Yes. Flex. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. Come on, Mike. Come on. That would be That's really That's what cool. you guys can do, and I'm <laughs> sure you'll have it all done and wrapped up by the time I get back from the liquor store. <laughs> then we'll do some shots. All right, who's going to do it? I think... Andrew would be really... I'm on the way to the store too. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we Instacart the liquor store and then just keep messing with this until we build... We Let's make that flex great again. Come on. It's MAFA. <laughs> All right. This is... Five, four, three, two, one. So do 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 there you go. Look at that. Yay! Yay! There you go. Ta-da! So, it was the mic too on the PowerFlex. PowerFlex is required for your iPhone 11 and up to stay on for more than three minutes. It's got a temperature sensor in it that's got to report back to the CPU. Hey, I'm not on fire. And if it says, hey, I am on fire, that's not good enough. It's got to say, hey, I'm not on fire. And so does your charge port and so does your battery. So your three-minute reboot loop is going to be one of those things almost always in your iPhone 11 and up. Don't forget, you can figure out exactly what the fault is with 3U tools, looking in the panic logs, looking on the phone in the panic logs, or using the iDevice analyzer. Is that what it's called? iDevice analyzer? Yeah. From Wayne. 
So any of those tools, and you too can solve your three-minute reboot loop. And that's crazy. Thanks for sharing. Q's Tech Service is convinced we have done our job. And that's the end of this short little 10-minute stream. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.